You got to tune to Wop Up KXP 90.3 FM on your dial and kxp.org all over the world. I'm Derek Mazzani, a DJ and host. I've been playing this artist uh, for a long time. And um, your record, I can tell you this right now, is one of my top 10 records of the year. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm talking about Yasmin Hamdan. She's in the studio right now. Would love Hi. to hear some music. Hi. I'm not 
Yes, man, I'm done. Live in the studios on Warp Up and GXP. Thank you for being here. Um, you, you're touring a lot. Yeah. What do you do to stay healthy traveling like that? Um, I don't know. I, I don't eat glu I'm gluten free. Okay. Like that's free. <laughs> All right. Sugar free. You Welcome know, to I'm Seattle. <laughs> the land of gluten free. I know. I think it's the right place to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, um, yeah, I try so to sleep well. well. And sleep. Eat well, sleep well. And uh, and read. Okay. Yeah. Good. Do some yoga. We saw. <laughs> um, the new record is called Al Jamilat. Yeah. What does that mean? The beautiful ones. Okay. Mm. And what was that song? Um, it's it's actually a poem of Mahmoud Darwish, mm -hmm. who's a, you know a Palestinian, the Palestinian poet, the Arabic um, most well known mm -hmm. poet, um, and it's a very beautiful uh, poem. <laughs> that I, I thought I wanted to put into music. And it's um, it's very tender. And I, and I think uh, what really draw, drove me into uh, towards that was that it was, um, yeah, it was very sensual, very tender, a lot of images. And it's about femininity, so in general. Okay. And, and, and it's also about imperfection, which, which I think is, uh, is, is what beauty is. Perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. Once again, thanks for being here. Thank you so much. You're living in Paris right now, mm -hmm. but you were born in Beirut. Born in Beirut. And then uh, you bounced around yeah. all over the place. Yeah, so. I was born in the middle of civil war. So okay. my parents uh, yeah, moved around. I lived. Uh, my first two years were in a, a line, which was a desert. Because mm -hmm. my father is an engineer. So it was kind of uh, very special. <laughs> And uh, and then Beirut, then Abu Dhabi, then Greece, then Beirut, then Paris. Is Paris home now? Yeah, Paris and Beirut. But yeah, I I go more. I mean, I spend more time in Paris, okay. and it's it's very beautiful to be there. Mm. Perfect. Yeah. I'd love to hear some more music, please. Yeah. So the next song is called Cafe. Okay.
Jasmine Hamdan, live in the studios on Wopop and KXP. The new record is called Al Jamilat, and mm -hmm. as you're hearing this right now, they're going to be playing at the El Rey Theater in Los Angeles and on Thursday at Le Poisson Rouge in New York City, mm -hmm. and then all over the world. Yeah. You're going to run around a bit. Yeah, actually we started touring in March. <clears throat> yeah, we've done a, a lot of cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the record's great. Thank you. And um, it's great to have you here. You. I've been uh, following your career for a while, mm -hmm. and... Did it start with Soap Kills? Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about that because uh, when people hear your music and they hear it in Arabic and they, they kind of go like, what is that? That's I'm curious now because most people have a perception of, mm. of what music is from Lebanon, music is from the Arab world. Yeah. But Soap Kills was this, um, this whole other angle. So if you could just a little bit, tell me a little bit about well, how that started. Well, you know, we started uh, in a weird, weird environment, like a post-war mm -hmm. city. And uh, I started by a real accident. I had no idea how what, what it was to be a musician or to have to do that as a career. And, uh, you, you know, back then we didn't have venues, uh, very few musicians, like one drummer. Okay. In the whole country. <laughs> in the whole country, there was one yeah. drummer, and he was not really. <laughs> he was. He was not so super cool. We have lots so. of drummers in Seattle. <laughs> no, so yeah, it was. It was strange, and um, and I, um, I, yeah, I kind of. Uh, I would say music saved me back then. I was very melancholic, and and I was also, ver yeah, I had this sense that I wanted my life to be my world to mm -hmm. be bigger than this place. And so I started obsessing about music and I started singing. In the beginning, I started with Soap Kills, uh, some English, singing in English because uh, Zaid was writing the songs. And, and then I fell, I fell on look, old Arabic music mm -hmm. and I started really obsessing about some people and, and, like and collecting. Mm, for example, the singer, like the first one was Asmahan, mm -hmm. which, which, is a, which was an Assyrian singer from the 30s. She died actually, I, I think in the 30s, in the Nile. Uh, really um, amazing voice, very edgy music, uh, drama queen. Um, <laughs> uh, really like, and, and, and I started realizing that Arabic old music has so, so many layers. And it was so interesting. Mm -hmm. And because I lived in many places in the Arab world, I started to realize that I actually had, I came from all those places and I had all this curiosity. So I started researching a lot and, you know, I had my dealers in, in Beirut, mm -hmm. like I would go down and I would go and talk to someone and, and it was not easy to find, so it was always like um, a seduction game. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. mm, uh, you know, please, what, what, because those people would like not give away easily mm -hmm. the, you know, the the those uh, sacred like this is this. So this is how I started really. And the thing is, I didn't know really how to sing Arabic, and I I never really wanted to learn. And I and I thought always that um, I I had like this mixed identity I was, I came from, I just, this is me, I assume it, and I want to be true to myself. So mm -hmm. I never really tried to be, to belong anywhere. So I was an insider, outsider, and I had ideas, and I, I wanted to explore with Arabic music because it's a very rough, mm -hmm. um, you know, material. So it was very exciting to me. So it, it really was a, like heart and head, like it was both. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started uh, doing a lot of happenings and creating a lot of, uh, yeah, things that, you know, concerts in churches and places that were destroyed. Uh, we were kind of improvising because you didn't, Back then, we didn't have radio venues. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it started to grow, um, but really underground. And I have memories of concerts in Damascus, crazy, and uh, in, uh, in Jordan, in uh, Tunisia, in, uh, yeah. in Egypt. So it was, uh, it was very thrilling. It was the beginning yeah, of yeah. something, yeah. Yeah, you guys were the thing. It was like, th <laughs> yeah. this is going to... Uh, present a whole other face of an entire culture, which is a heavy thing for a young band to suddenly have yeah. on our head. Yeah, it, it was just by accident. I just, we just improvised everything. And the thing is, yeah, I, I, I'm talking about myself. I was, um, I was, I had this, uh, I'm stubborn. So that was good in that situation because I was faced to a lot of conservatism. And, uh, and, and also, 
I had both. I had the enthusiasm and also mm-hmm. the conservatism. And because I was singing Arabic a little bit like a punk or, you know, mm-hmm. I was not following the rules and I didn't care. And that kind of, not everybody liked it, but um, yeah, I had a vision. I, I, I always thought that Arabic uh, could sound universal, that music is universal in a way. And if yes. you get an emotion, that then you get it all. Yes. And and I also think that it's it's a pocket where people can meet and explore things and it's a, it's a it's a language actually that maybe we don't have when we talk and it, it, it develops every something else like uh, sensations emotions etc affinity yeah so i had um, yeah i i um, when i started actually it was insane to think that i would have a career i think mm-hmm. and then um then i didn't give up and i f- then i went to paris i did um i did some other collaborations mm-hmm. And slowly, slowly, I started finding find, finding my yeah, yeah. way and, and the people I wanted to work with more. And the record now is out, Al Jamila. Yeah, under my name. So I, you know, I, I, I had a solo album in mm-hmm. 2009, Yanes. No, sorry, 2011, 12, 13. And Al Jamilat now. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Thank you. It's important um, for you to be here. Thank and you so for much. this to be heard right now in in the United States. So thank you again for being thank here. Thank you so much for having us. We're really super, super fans. Let's hear another song. <laughs> then we'll introduce the band and ask a couple more questions, please. Yasmin Hamdan on Wopa by KXP.
Yasmin Hamdan, live in the studios on Wop Up on KXP. It was beautiful. Thank you. Uh, can you introduce the band? Yes, sure. Uh, so on my left, this is Cedric Leroux on the guitar. Awesome. Kong Mim Pham on the bass and on the synth. Thank you for being here. Loic Morin on the drums. Mm-hmm. So. And how long have you guys been playing together? Um, the three of us, I think, since 2014. Okay. And with Loic, it's been a year. It's been a year now. You have your choice of drummers now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Things have changed. <laughs> well done. Yeah, and they're super cool. We have, we have a lot of fun together. Yeah, yeah. Traveling yeah. like that, you know, I was impressed. Yeah. Where do you like to play? It's, it depends, really. I mean, it depends. Um, Berlin is really nice. Yeah, yeah. You can just dress crazy and You're doing quiet. two nights, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And the Bergheim. And then Paris was really super cool. Um, Egypt, Cairo can be sometimes nuts, depending on mm-hmm. where you play. Beirut also. Um, yeah. A lot of it, it's different actually, and it's for me it's a lot of um, it's very challenging because many times I found myself in in front of an audience that doesn't speak Arabic, and uh, but I am I trust that there's something that's gonna oh, happen. Oh, you, you, you've energy. got it. Yeah, so I just and that's that gives me a lot of pleasure actually. It's part of the. So you're, um, oh God, I hate saying this, but you you're an ambassador. You're you're presenting. Uh, I know, I know, I know. And I've seen you in a lot of interviews and you handle stupid questions really well. So I'm not going to <laughs> add to that. It's not a stupid uh, question. I'm not gonna, uh, no, I know, mm. but, it's, but it, it's, you know, you're a musician. You're like, mm. I'm performing. And somebody suddenly goes like, no, you're representing this and this. And right now this is super important. For mm. me, it's more important to have you live on stage and here mm. and just sharing who you are instead of like waving a flag. But it is an interesting time in the States right now. And it, it's a really interesting time, especially for a woman, to present this culture, mm. and especially when you're talking about like a Syrian singer from the 30s, most people mm. just have no clue that this thing is, and you're you're adding this texture yeah. and this depth, which is fabulous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's um, there's something I think that that needs to maybe be more available is 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 the past, <laughs> the Arabic Arabic, for example, the Arab world is not one, and we're. It's many, many yeah. countries. It's really different depending on where you come from, etc. It's it's also different. Plus, the culture is different, and, and there's something, um, yeah, something from the past, the memory mm-hmm. that's maybe not 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 uh, not ha- that hasn't been pushed in uh, for people to see. So people they look at the media today and they think that it has always been like this, and and this is. And if you read books about politics or history etc you understand that you know like everywhere things you know just become and change and yeah, cycles exactly. and st- things like that so i grew up on old arabic on, uh, films and old arabic music and on something that i really desire mm-hmm. and so when i became a teenager i started realizing that around me i had less and less of what this tenderness or this sexiness that i fa- that i had this uh, something that was really empowering i didn't find it around me so i started connecting to it but it's true that it's it's maybe not available for everybody to see mm-hmm. mm. so you presented it well in um, that scene in uh, Jim Jarmusch's Laughs Lovers Laughs Alive and uh, I took that clip and that was a great way to get people like oh I've seen this person mm. but you would you were able to encapsulate that you know in that scene in, uh, and I highly recommend everybody to see the movie it's, br- it's brilliant yeah. um, but in that scene in that cafe because you've had these musicians um, who looked very traditional and then you had you not looking traditional and it was the synthesis of the two. Is this the place where you'd like to see your your what, this world going? Is this, is this old and new in the future? Yeah, I actually like to take elements, sounds, textures from something more traditional and to completely uh, take it out of its nature or... Mm-hmm you know, the, the zone that where, where this stands because it, I'm bored when it's in the middle of, when it's a film. It. Yeah. So I, I like to take elements. And in this r- new record, El Jamilat, this is what I've done. Mm-hmm. I've tried with uh, melodies, with sounds, textures, instruments, etc., rhythms, 
uh, to just have fun and uh, and not follow any codes and stuff. For example, I have a, we have a song called Taala mm -hmm. and Tathriala, and and I, I because I I was in the Gulf, I love the rhythm there. They have something really groove, they groove differently. It's like a camel groove. Mm -hmm. And so I took the groove and I asked my friend, who was a great uh, producer, uh, Kubanks, I asked him to just to put like more like, like sounds. That. Yeah, to make it sound really modern. And so I tried to do that with instruments, with violins, with bouzouks, with the, And I, um, I also like to add some notes of humor in the lyrics, etc. cetera, in, and to have the distance and, and to, to always have hinted things in, in the song. So, yeah, I like to have fun. Okay, perfect, perfect. <laughs> I would love to hear one more song. Yeah, please. this is the last song. Um, the one we just played was called El Jamilat, and that one we decided to do something, um, yeah, K2, a song that is calm, and, um, and uh, somehow it's about... Um, refugees but not really it's about um obstacles okay so here we go perfect yasmin hamdan whoop up kxp where the music matters Don't 
Thank you so much. Yasmin Hamdan, live in the studios of KXP. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Please come back. Everybody listening or watching right now, go see this band. They're amazing. Thank you. Um, I'm Derek Mazzoni, your DJ and host. I want to thank Jim Beckman, Alia D'Alessandro, Justin Wilmore, Kevin Suggs, our photographer, Matthew Thompson, Michael Sacchetti, Jennifer Stipich, uh, Yosef Baskovitz, and more. This is KXP 90.3, where the music matters. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.